Yeah, ayo, hey, there's always something to say Reminiscing about those glorious days Cause time's passing away, there's no time to wait I see my younger sister grow, man, she's 12 years old Unaware of what this world really holds Just take a look inside my eyes and you'll see permanent cold That's why every time I write, I'm digging deep in my soul Well, um, so my name's Alex Um, 19 years old, actually I'm 20 now Ever since, um, high school-ish started I, I just, um I was hanging out with the wrong people, not not doing what I was supposed to be doing, staying unfocused in school, not going to classes. My teachers, they didn't understand who I was. So any time that they were trying to tell me something, I wouldn't, I wasn't having it because they didn't understand. So we'd go, we'd go there, we'd smoke up, drink up, whatever. And Let alone a black teen who comes from a bad scene where man serve crack the fiend. Yo, we were getting into more trouble. I'd come home, I'd be getting in problems with my mom because school, I wasn't going to school, I'd be skipping classes. My best, best friend, he's in jail right now for just like making bad decisions, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's like I could be there too, that could be me. You know, I go and visit him every single week and it's just like, I'm, I look at him and I'm just like, yo, dog, that could be me right there, you know? I want, I want to do things with my life. I don't want to just be hanging out every day, getting in trouble, stuff like that, right? I started um, going to the community center, St. Albans Boys and Girls Club. I met Alex probably about 10 years ago when I first came to St. Albans, and he was involved in our summer camp and CIT program. Always sort of spoke his mind and had very strong opinions about various things, but was always very engaged and always involved in programming here at St. Albans, and so was his family. Eventually, they opened up a sound studio. So like I just went into the room and I and I saw they were, they were doing construction. I was like, oh, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we're building um, we're building a sound studio for the youth and the community to uh, to like express themselves through music and stuff like that. And he realized that hey, I've got a talent. I can make a difference with this talent, and I've got a future. And like at the time, like me and my buddies would always beatboxing, freestyling, whatever like that, you know. But we never had anywhere to actually go to like make it happen, make it realistic. I look at it as they've been brainwashed and you really have to stick with it. As many times as they're gonna say to you, get out of my face, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it, you really have to be the tougher person and show tough love. They were they were always telling me, you know, Alex, you gotta you gotta get things done, you gotta go to school, you gotta go to class. If you wanna come to San Albans, you wanna record here, you gotta be getting your grades up and stuff like that. And uh, ever since St. Albans opened up the sound studio, my life changed completely, like, it just made it so much easier for me to, like, vent out and to just, like, to have somewhere to go, you know, where people understood, like, where I, my problems, like, where I was coming from, stuff like that, because the people that worked there, a lot of them were in the same position. It's time to bring it down, back to the T, die, yeah. 